Hi YouTubers, welcome back to another one of my videos. Earlier I actually did a review, so if you see me again in these clothes in another video, obviously I did the videos in the same day, but I'm obviously posting it in a couple days stretch or so. But today I really wanted to do a review comparison on two drugstore contours that I believe are one of like just one of the best contours I guess in a way and they're really good for either skin tones. So the first one is a very famous one and it is the NYC bronzer right here. This is Sunny. Oops, sorry, my mirror's probably blinding you and whatnot. Obviously you can tell I have definitely loved this bronzer, hit pan. It's a very gorgeous bronzer and it is matte. It's very hard to find drugstore bronzers that are matte. And then the next bronzer is going to be a NYX blush, but obviously it's a bronzer. This isn't taupe. And here it is. You can tell that there is definitely a difference between the two. You can tell Sunny is definitely more of a warmer tone of brown and this right here, taupe, is more of a cool tone brown. And both are absolutely wonderful, and both are absolutely matte. So, NYC Sunny Bronzer retails for a $2.70 range, almost $3. And then the NYX Blush Bronzer retails for probably close to 5 maybe a little bit less. Both are drugstore, I believe, in my opinion, even though it's a little bit harder to find the NYX bronzer because they are sold at Ulta. It's kind of hard to find them. They're not really in Walmart or Target so the availability is a little bit tough. I know I'm really sorry about that. There is Cherry Culture, Beauty Joint, Pork Daisy, all those sites do sell NYX products I believe for even more of a discounted price and I just wish though that this was more available. So let me swatch NYC Sunny Bronzer and here it is if you can tell it's a little harder to see this one. They're both really pigmented. And let me just build it up on my hand so you can see. The only problem, the con with NYC's Sunny Bronzer, in my opinion, is that it kind of, because it's so warm, it can look a bit orangey. There it is. I don't know if you can tell. It has, because it's a warmer brown, it has a little bit of an orange quality to it. I find that I wear NYC Sunny Bronzer mostly in the summertime, so obviously summer just kind of ended and that's why I hit so much of it and I have been using it for quite some time, but I believe this is more of summer bronzer in my opinion because my skin tone is already at a warm quality that using this product that is warmer just kind of gives it that extra glow. However, in the winter time when my skin is a lot paler, I am ending summer's tan so I still have it just a little bit. I'm trying to hang on to it as long as I can but I'm losing the tan obviously and as the you know progresses more into fall and winter I will it'll just be gone. So for that reason I know it sounds weirder that if I'm gonna be in fall time or winter that I'm gonna be using a darker bronzer but it, since it's such a cool tone I feel like it doesn't make me so fake looking with an orange bronzer. And let me show this one. This one is a lot more pigmented and it's almost a little bit of a gray tone so you must be careful with it. And let me swatch it there for you. It's very pigmented too so I don't use that much. See there's definitely a difference and you think that might be unwearable but I'm actually wearing this contour today for my cheekbones so it doesn't really show up as bad as that. You can even use a a uh, shimmer bronzer over it just to give it a little bit more of a warmer appearance if you do want but I find that it is absolutely okay if you just don't use too much of the product it's a really I can't really say gorgeous because it doesn't look that gorgeous but it definitely deepens your cheekbones and gives it more of a just kind of hollows you out a little bit and gives it more of a perk up kind of in your cheekbones because my cheekbones aren't really doing so much for me so Kind of, it's almost weirder that I say that for lighter skin tones you can use this. Obviously if you are a little bit darker in skin tones you can, but I just feel like warmer skin tones you will definitely use- Ooh, I dropped it, my bad. 
NYC, you get the point. Everyone has seen that. So warmer skin tones, I definitely say gravitate more towards the NYC Sunny Bronzer because it won't make you look so fake with the whole Oompa Loompa orange look to you. And then for my lighter skin tone girls, just don't use as much. You can use this. And even if you wear medium, like I said, medium to dark skin tones, you can use this too. Just work with it. And what I love so much about these eyeshadows too, because they can double up, or eyeshadows, sorry, blushes, is that they can double up as eyeshadows. So let's say you're on vacation, for some reason you forgot your brown eyeshadow that you really wanted, you kind of have a matte eyeshadow already for you, so they can double up for you. So any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and list it below. I hope this was helpful in explaining skin tones and these different bronzer, matte bronzers at the drugstore. Thank you so much, gorgeouses, and have a beautiful day. Bye.